Hey up y'all, that's Notting for hello everybody, um, but in Nottingham slang there, right. Um, I was going to do a video last night, and I was going to do a video featuring Stevenson's Rocket, which was there, um, and also um, the little Gandhi cart there, and over there the uh, turbo car. Now a few people have asked me about Stevenson's Rocket, I want to see it running, um, but uh, I serviced it about six months ago and it was running okay but I didn't give it a full service um, when I come to try it last night I wasn't happy with the performance so um, I stripped it completely and in doing so the spring that holds the brushes in place went poing in my workshop and I don't know where it is so I've had to order a new spring today for the motor which is the same motor that is used in the Minic cars so um, Yes, I'm afraid it'll be a few days before I can get the rocket running, so never mind. But I've decided to do something different anyway. Right, what I've done today, now instead, is... Uh, right, we'll start with the what I call the uh, Snow and Rescue set. So let's get that right, yeah, Snow and Rescue set. Now this is quite interesting here. Here she comes. Blah, 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 blah. Right, now we'll start off with the snow plough which as you can see is in lovely condition it's even got the chimney stack still in place which a lot of them aren't and right then we've got the original Triang Baltic now this is a that on the front there is the only old type coupling that I've got on the whole of the layout that's the only one there um, I'm still looking for a front pony for this with the, uh, the Mark III coupling but that's the only one now this this particular loco is one of the very first original ones um, it's in the acetate plastic as you can see the roof's a little bit bowed on it and it's slightly up there at the front but to be honest with you it's in really good condition I'm not really that bothered but I did manage to find a proper pony for the back which has got the metal cow catcher on it as you can see there that's uh, so I'm just going to get one for the front as well okay now I've sorted my controllers out so they will run double headers now without any problems so uh, we've got all double headers on the layout tonight now that one, of course, that's the Maroon Baltic. Nice story about this one. It's not very good condition. Well, I say that. It's actually quite good uh, physically. There's no damage to it, as you can see. Now, this was advertised on eBay, um, and the picture was so dark, I didn't even know what colour it was. But I emailed the guy, and he said it's a red one. So I thought, well, I'm happy with that, because he, he mentioned in the listing that it had, uh, like, glue marks on it and would probably wipe off. And I thought, yeah, I bet it won't wipe off. But I wasn't bothered, because because it actually looks a little bit weathered and my friend Bob's going to weather it properly for me and for uh, 60 pounds 62 pounds I'm quite happy at that so nice one all right moving on we've got the continental crane there and the helicopter rescue a really, a really blah, blah, rescue helicopter car uh, unfortunately the tail's not uh, not there on that as you can obviously see but uh, I'll, I'll get another one at some point I'm not terribly worried about it and the Andalus car and a caboose obviously they're quite easy to get all of they are but you don't see them all with good writing like that and all the steps and the chimney again so they're quite often broken or missing so we'll get a running round so I call that the snow and rescue set there we go Again, double headed. I'm well pleased with my controllers now. I've altered them my own way. in a minute on the centre line I was trying to think of something different to put on and I thought oh what a good idea I'll run the two steeple cabs double headed and um, yeah pulling a rake of eight of the Triang very rare hard to find continental lich cars sleeper cars there's how's about that guys and dolls
pas du tout. Very nice. Now for something I've really been looking forward to uh, getting onto video and onto YouTube. Okay, um, how's about this? The Triang Battle Space set, virtually all of it. Now, one thing I would just want to show you here, I've got there, that's the, uh, the plane launching car. Let's get my fingers out of the way. Yeah, the plane launching car. Um, I hate the paper plane that's with that. Um, I, I just think it's awful. So I'm, I've not put that on. Uh, I'm going to look for something else to, to put on here. I don't know, uh, uh, some sort of plane. I've also got the spare loader there which is uh, with this which actually is quite cute it's a um, hovercraft and it's pretty much the right color more or less and it actually does look quite good on there with it uh, with the um, on that but unfortunately it's slightly wide on the sides and if I'm not careful it catches another the other train so I need to uh, look into that if I'm going to use that but anyway the main thing is I've got it so as about this again guys and dolls now I gotta tell you <coughs> because I'm on nickel track here and because the well there's so many of them um, and the magnetism on the locos is not working on the on the nickel track unfortunately one loco is not going to pull it I was hoping to have another a car Kijinti before I did this video but uh, up to now I've not managed to get my hands on one in good enough condition so um, I've just stuck R52 on the front with it as I say it's obviously going to look better whether you've got a, a pair the same but um, it, it's anyway I'm going to get it round the track and I'll show you what I mean if I just carefully take that off put that out of the way for a minute then I'm afraid she's not going to even move no chance whatsoever Obviously, again, magnetism. If it was on the Super Four track, I don't think it'd be a problem. But uh, just put that back on. But once the two are on, it's uh, it's no big deal for it. It, it goes away. There we go. Right. So we've got the exploding car. So it's light wagon with, I might add, the radar, which is quite often missing, and the chimney stack, which is missing. Now you'll see here that's green. That's off one of the NATO cars. This part is not normally on this. Uh, low loader but I like it I'm going to spray that car key and, uh, and I, I like it with the the cab on both ends I think it looks more complete but I just need to spray that but anyway okay so that's a searchlight wagon and we've got the bomb transporter mm. and the rocket launcher with the two spare rockets on it as well there you go yeah, I think a couple of those rockets want painting a uh, uh, new white and uh, do that the ends want doing uh, black again but, uh, but they're not in bad nick they're hard to find and I've, I've gave it an aerial at the top there so, so obviously that one was missing oops hang on and look, the rocket launching wagon and the helicopter in the proper obviously the battle space logo sticker and the right colour and the tails on it oh look at that that's a rare find. I'm quite often frightened to even handle that one because it's so delicate. Right, and then we've got the uh, tank transporter with a couple of rockets on it. Actually there. Yeah. And then we've got the uh, prisoner of war car, POW, and the sniper car. Now, um, I'm not quite sure which box the metal trigger is in for it, so uh, I put a, uh, a weight inside to stop him popping his head up because I think he's going to hit things. So uh, the sniper car, and then finally the command car. Now there's only one. Oh, item I haven't got, and I forget what it's called now. I'd have to look back in the book now. I can't remember. There's only one item that I haven't got. But uh, anyway, brilliant. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Wicked. Oh, I'm saying it again, aren't I? Oh, damn. Okay, we'll get them all going anyway. Get a few different angles as well.
sorry about that. Yeah, pretty cool, eh, guys? Brilliant. I'll do a video of the rocket as soon as I get a running and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that done soon. So see you in a few days time. Bye.